So I'm standing here in front of an audience of people watching me vlog. Houston, we have a problem. This is the control room for NASA. I'm taking over his job. He's supposed to be leading this tour, but here we are in front of a whole room of people and I don't actually work here. I'm not even from Houston. When the seven astronauts boarded the Challenger space shuttle, they entered on this exact walkway we're on right now. They entered the shuttle. The last time they'd be walking on planet Earth. Right now we're on this thing. It's called the white what? White, white, uh, white wall. White wall, white something. White room. White room, thank you. So this white room was the last time those seven astronauts set foot on uh, Earth, basically. Earth. On, Earth, Earth. And this is it. This is the actual room. This is not a replica. It's the real deal. Old telephones from that era. Earth. Earth. We're on planet Earth. ERF. <laughs> think, something tells me you're not going to have us be the next NASA space shuttle. Hi, we'd like to leave Earth <laughs> go, and go to Spock. <laughs> Sp Spocky. Oh, you mean it's spelled space. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was Spocky. Uh, you know, like like uh, Spock on Star Trek. <laughs> this is the white room, the real thing, man. Seven people were standing in this very spot back in 1985, and that was the last time they walked on planet Earth. I'm with Danny. We're in the Johnson Space Center for NASA, right here in Houston, Texas. We're passing the Saturn V mission over there. This area is now used as an educational opportunity. We're on a noisy uh, tractor, tractor mobile here with lots and lots of people. But we got VIP seats right up in front. We slipped the guy a couple bucks to go to sit up in front. Whoa, cool. Actuated, disarmed. I'm arming them. And I want to welcome you to Moker 2, also known as Apollo Mission Control or Historic Mission Control. This room started being used in 1965. Uh, it was used for nine Gemini missions, 10 Apollo missions, and 21 space shuttle missions. We stopped using this room in 1992 and moved one floor below us. Now, what you see inside this room right here, these are not mock-ups or replicas. This is the real deal. These are the original consoles, chairs, carpets, curtains, cabinets, all from the 60s and early 70s when we were sending men to the moon and bringing them home safe. Everything, like I said, in this room, all original. But what about the VIP viewing room that y'all are in? It's also all original. These are the original carpets, wallpapers. In the very back on both sides, you do have the original phone booths. And these chairs are the original chairs from 1965 when we opened the building over 51 years ago. And that includes on the back of some of these seats, the original ashtrays. Yes, for the younger generation, those are not cell phone holders. Those are not <laughs> so who sat in these VIP seats? Well, truly VIPs, just like y'all. We've had all the NASA administrators, the astronaut families, every president from Lyndon B. Johnson through George W. Bush. The third seat where no one's sitting at right now, that's actually where Queen Elizabeth sat in 1991 for a space shuttle mission. I'm sitting inside a jet engine. Not just any jet engine though. This one came off a space shuttle. Seriously. Maybe that one, maybe that one. I don't know. But it's a jet engine and it's almost as big as me. It's probably a diameter from here of about four and a half feet. I could pretty much completely lay down inside it and not reach the end. It's pretty intense. It's pretty cool. The fact that some huge amount of fire blast was coming out here enough to launch a space shuttle to the moon is quite intense hey Dan you want to climb in come on climb in climb in all the way in all the way in keep going no I'm not gonna keep going you want to take a shot at it you, he, he can get to the end keep going all the way to the end you fit all the way. <laughs> we'll call the fire department to get you out once you get stuck. <laughs> this is NASA's Mission Control Center, the new one, the one that's gonna be eventually used to get man to Mars. No joke, this is the real deal. 
everything here is live and still currently in use there's even one guy over there doing simulations i don't know if you could see him but this is the real place this is not uh, a museum or the fake deal they actually have missions to to various parts of space that wall all those badges you see over there those are missions that were completed right out of this individual space this place is really amazing it is indeed nasa as you see over there uh, each of these desks have a different purpose uh, some of them are for monitoring the health of the astronauts some of them are for um, ground control and surgeon is the health is the health one all sorts of stuff it's pretty cool that one right there is the flight director that would be a fun job no joke right behind me is a full 747 jet this is not just a regular 747 it did start out as a passenger jet but then it became part of NASA and was used to transport a space shuttle which is still attached straight above now this to give a perspective of just how humongous this is right here is one of the engines on the 747 I can fit my head inside and there's another one over there took four of these gigantic engines to lift the space shuttle up and into the atmosphere these five engines over my head each weigh eight tons they produce a comb combined thrust of one and a half million pounds of force they will produce they will produce enough um, power to take this gigantic space shuttle that just goes on and on and on to 6,000 miles per hour I mean can you imagine the power in each of these suckers one and a half million pounds of thrust that is intense it's huge I mean it's they look like a diameter of roughly about I don't know 18 feet in diameter I mean if you got 18 foot ceiling ceilings in your apartment you're doing well this is 18 feet of engine that's crazy and it moves that all the way. I mean, it just powers that gigantic thing. Ground control, it's a major time. Space shuttle, that guy's flying around. We're practicing for space. There's another guy in this room over here. He's showering, man. He needs to kind of get a little bit of privacy. Don't we'll leave him alone. Uh, there's someone sleeping up here behind me. We're all floating around in space. They're floating. See, they're floating too. They're cosmonauts, apparently. Um, lower body negative pressure instrument. This place is really cool. All right, I'm flying away. Ooh. I could kind of reach my whole arm in there with plenty of space and gap. There's even a little cockroach dead right here on the ground, living in there. Now this guy, this engine here is a monster, and it got oil on it. Ugh.